So this is Muin Dalvi. I have uh, Dr. Amir here with me, uh, and we are going to talk about the next exam for dental students that has that has been introduced uh, recently. Uh, so, Dr. Amir. Yes. Hello, students. Uh, there has been a lot of buzz with new news for dental students. There's a new exam that is being planned and a bill that is on the way to be proposed. And we have some changes coming up in the exam pattern for final year students and the entrance test. So uh, we have very little information, but uh, since there's a lot of confusion, doubt among students, we thought it would be great to uh, bring this topic up and we will try to address all your questions one by one with whatever information we have. Right. So um, what exactly is next exam for dental students, Dr. Amir? What does it mean to, to the BDS students who are currently going through their uh, through their college. Could you talk uh, more in detail about what exactly it is? Of course. Now I'll just give you a brief idea of uh, what this exam is. So next is national exit test. And in order to make any change in the pattern of examination, you first have to propose a bill in the parliament. And then once it is approved, sanctioned, then it is implemented. So the whole process started with the medical council and they proposed a bill which was passed and now the changes are going to be implemented from the coming year for dental. However, the bill is introduced now. So in July it was introduced July 2023 and it is expected to be implemented by the year 2026. That is in three years. Now I will tell you more about the medical because we have more clarity there and then we will uh, consider the dent dental situation to the whole uh, bill. The Medical Council has proposed that uh, the students who are in final year that is fourth year students will have to take one exam, a common exam to move to internship. And this exam will also help them uh, secure a seat for the master's program. And then after their internship is over, they will have another practical exam. So if you apply a similar logic to dental uh, curriculum, like how final year students have their university exams after fourth BDS, and then they move to internship and then they appear for NEET in internship or after internship and then they get a postgrad program. Now it is all combined. So next will be one exam in theory and practical. The theory will be conducted at the end of final year BDS and that exam will give them the uh, it'll, it'll be like a stepping stone to internship just like how it's your university exam. Plus it will also help you get uh, admissions to your master's program. So whatever score, whatever rank, whatever uh, performance you have in your need in the next one exam, that will be your entrance exam for the masters. And then once your internship is over, you will have a practical exam, a skill based exam. We don't have a lot of information about the pattern of the exam, the subjects or whatever uh, changes which will be implemented at a micro level. But on an overview, the, these two exams are going to be the future pattern of uh, dental curriculum from the, for the years to come. OK, so um, what I'm hearing is there will be two exams, one called step one and uh, step two. Mm -hmm. Step two uh, is a clinical exam that is uh, you take after internship like, right. to get the license. Correct. Step one is immediately after your fourth year. Mm -hmm. And you have to clear this exam to enter uh, your internship. And right. this exam will also be considered for your ranking to for uh, admissions to PG courses, PG. So whatever rank you get in step one is equivalent to the neat PG rank that you get currently. Correct. Yes. Right. So that so is why. Another yeah. point. Uh, Muin is uh, that you like students had to prepare theoretical uh, short answers, long answers, everything of that sort for the final year exam. And then they had to prepare for multiple choice questions for that neat exam. So all of that is going to change because there will be one common objective based questions. So you will most likely because the medical pattern has multiple cho choice questions. The dental curriculum will also move to a multiple choice question based exam. That is next part one. So the theory in, in its true sense will be actually multiple choice questions. Right, right. Mm -hmm. So uh, what this uh, means to like first year and second year students, right? What do they have to change 
like from what they currently do versus what they will have to do uh, to deal with uh, the next exam. What do you recommend? So let's let's try to understand the students who will be majorly affected by this uh, change. As of 2023, students who are in their current third year or final year need not worry too much about it because it will take some time to implement. Uh, once the bill is passed and all the process is uh, figured out and once it's publicly available, it takes a while to implement. So I think the current first year and second year students will be uh, majorly affected by this pattern. And unless someone's trying to take a gap year in the current third year or final year who want to apply for master's program later after a couple of years, they should also be uh, concerned about this. So uh, the strategy of preparation is going to change, of course, and uh, it is it is also going to affect how you how you look at each subject as a whole because the medical curriculum. So if you see their pattern of examination currently in theory was very different compared to what is proposed in the next uh, exam. So you have allied subjects, general medicine and associated basic sciences, general surgery and associated basic sciences. So we can also expect this kind of a collaboration and integration of uh, first and second year subjects with the clinical subjects. For example, see if you uh, look at prosto, you will have a lot of dental material questions associated with it. Or if you look at oral surgery, the, then you can expect anatomy, physiology, pharmacology associated. If you have oral medicine, then you can have oral path, path, again, pharmac. So it is like integration of everything that you are studying from first year, second year up to your final year. So students who are going to be uh, taking up this exam have to be prepared right from the beginning to be able to face uh, the exam in a more, uh, you know, in a more tactful way because it is also going to affect their rank for entrance and that is going to affect their admission to the master's program. So it's not that you just prepare in your internship like how you used to do one year of internship, you prepare for your need and you're through. No, it takes a couple of uh, strategies to implement and you need to be very uh, cautious right from the beginning. You need to have your uh, study material in place so that you know when the correct time comes, you don't waste your time going through the whole fundamental concept again. It has to be very strategic. And for students who are taking admission now or who are already in their first year, my advice to them would be to keep their eyes open on this exam because you don't want uh, anxiety and fear at the last minute when the exams are announced. So, uh, Dr. Amit, thank you. Next, what I want to ask is like, what do the first year, second year and possibly third year students have to do differently now with next in mind? Like, how do they prepare for this? What do they have to do right from the beginning? A uh, very good question. So now uh, for students who are going to be affected with this uh, pattern of examination, there are two important suggestions, recommendations I would like to uh, highlight on. The first is practicing MCQs. Now, ideally, because they are used to the theory pattern of exam, not everyone is acquainted to the uh, system of practicing MCQs or working out the logic behind multiple choice questions. So it is very important that you start practicing these multiple choice questions right from the beginning. You have the current, you have the correct access to the material that helps you understand the uh, analytics behind a question. You need to have an explanation that gives you an overview of the topic. So get your hands on uh, good multiple choice questions. Now we know that uh, all students have access to some of the other books available in the market, but I, I really want to emphasize that uh, these are outdated pattern of questions because now we have more integrated uh, clinical questions coming up in the current exams. So these books will not help you attain the kind of expertise that you're looking for in the long run. So you need to look at the MCQ, the explanation that goes with the multiple choice question that helps you get an overview and the video explanation that comes with it. So if you look at the app, you will have all this under the same topic and you you can you know practice multiple times and get used to the uh, concept highlight whatever is important highlight whatever you are not good with so that is the first point that is practicing multiple choice questions now as you start to practice questions you will realize that you need to have your notes in hand because at the end of the day when you are revising a topic you are not integrating anything yourself in a multiple choice question but when you are ma making your own notes you are writing it down in a way that's going to make sense to you when the time to rev revision comes. So for example, if you are doing uh, a prosto in your final year and you had done dental materials in your second year, 
it's not necessary that you will remember all of it and apply it in the prosto uh, you know clinical area of questions so when you are in dental materials when you are in second year itself you start making notes you have it concise you have it in a tabulated flowchart form and then when you come back to prosto in final year you will know exactly what uh, was important and what was to be applied same goes for medicine and physiology or you know oral uh, surgery is uh, parallel to a lot of fields anatomy physio pharmac so you need to integrate these concepts in form of multiple choice questions and notes as you prepare so that you can have a very concise revision at the end so thank you uh, very much dr amir uh, that was very insightful and, uh, and a lot of good information uh, so uh, we'll be conducting more of these sessions going forward as and when new information becomes available and you know we want to communicate more on the strategy to prepare for these exams and all that so definitely follow us on uh, youtube and on instagram uh, so you get the information uh, as soon as it becomes available hope you found uh, this session very helpful thank you thank you so much